But see, that's the thing, right? He's a robot. Well, let's just say he's like a Pharaonis, okay? Sure. But he's not just a Pharaonis. He's hmm. he's like covered in gold. And you, usually gold is like a really weak uh, substance. Like, you know, it's it's pretty easy to destroy. Right. But this this guy, he you can't destroy him. He's nearly invincible. And you you know why? I can't say I do. Inside the golden Pharaonis is actually dead people. Golden Freddy and Goldface are the same character. Welcome back, everyone, to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I was just telling my buddy Zeon here about singing FNAF lore. And also, yeah, last episode we liberated Colony 9, and which was probably the best hero quest yet. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I was legitimately moved. And we even get a sick reward. The class Guardian Commander is now alive. But having three tanks on a team is honestly kind of stupid. So I need to change everyone's... Actually, we have four tanks right now. So I need to change everyone's classes all over again. I will be totally honest though, I have been playing like off screen and messing around with this class and uh, the truth is it's kind of effing boring as I will demonstrate against a level 5 enemy for some effing reason. So, he's a tank. He just sits there and gets hit. I mean, ideally that's the case, but no, legitimately. Uh, there might be some mechanics I don't understand about him, but Falcon Swoop Oh, makes you awaken? Ah, I can't believe I got stunned by a stinking level 5 enemy. And down it goes. We finally got revenge on the stupid bunnet. But yeah, it's not necessarily the most exciting thing in the world. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but what are you gonna do? And speaking of what are you gonna do, uh, what do we do in this episode? I don't know. Something tells me we should not uh, progress the main plot. There are these like little quest related event things I want to check out those so I shall so back in Millic Meadows we uh, didn't really investigate too much to the north here where the you know giant monkey was so I guess we'll do that now it looks like that flare up there is actually where we're supposed to be heading oh snap you you couldn't even come here before we finished Valdi's quest dude that's sick I'm, I'm actually excited. That means there's potentially tons of places we were locked off, quote unquote. Because after all, this is an open world game, right? They can't lock things up. I'm so tired of the, the marketing term open world. But let me stop myself right there before I get on another rant. Point being, that's nifty. I wonder what other ones we're going to get. My theory is we'll eventually unlock the like ability to slide on like rails and stuff because remember back in um you know ethel's colony kind of really what was up with that we I, I i found the grind rail let me grind on the rail dom as we reach uh murmurs rise another demon of the lesser key of solomon i feel like i have to bring that up every time uh it's kind of odd for xenoblade to mention that because you know i don't think there's any demons it's kind of a franchise that's I don't want to say against that, but it really just focused up more on, like, organic or inorganic threats. After all, what is kind of a demon? It's kind of just like, I don't know, magic? I don't know. Is that the, is this a place for this type of discussion? Then again, I guess, you know, the Zohar is the crucifix, so it's a... <laughs> well, it's not literally... You know what I'm talking about. Xenoblade is a... I guess let's say the Xeno series is a very, uh vast franchise at the end of the day and hey there's that uh flare let's get that and i guess investigate whatever the dump that is I hope it's got something we uh, i've really not even touched on like xenoblade's like gnostic themes and you know the most iconic thing even about the franchise the monado okay. the monad has a lot of uh different meanings not even just in, like, Gnosticism, but also, like, computing and, like, you know, technology. I love this franchise. Oh, it's good to be back. But, uh, yeah. Got some ether cylinders. I didn't realize we could get them from chests and, uh, whatever this shiny object is. Whoa. Hey, what's this thing? Is that a fidget spinner? <laughs> it's an ancient relic from a time long past. Hmm. No idea. Some kind of junk. Hey. <laughs> what the? Who's there? Solid snake? 
I'm not far off. Hello? Hand it over. Uh, 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 hey, brother, it's yours. Noah, this guy. Yeah. He means business. Hurry it up. And by it, you mean this? Why would we ever hand it over to some knuckle-headed chump like... Hold up, Uni. We are not that attached to this piece of garbage. It's not trash. It's treasure! Dude's not playing any- Whoa! He's just straight up got guns?! Guys! Weapons ready! Like handguns?! That's... Kind of... Okay. But brother... Come on. It's seven against one. How tough could he be? A gray matter? And a Seatar matter- No, he's level 28! Oh Jesus, I have no time to joke around. <laughs> okay. Alright, I did not expect to fight a boss, um, this early on in the game. With an unnot to my setup, but here we are, and Uni's missing every attack. Oh my god. It's because he keeps- he's- he's dodging literally everything! What? This is bull. Okay, um, I'm kind of panicking. We can't run, though, so what do we do? Other than just hope and pray for the best? What the crap? He tore through Noah instantly! This is- I- I- I'm dead. Like, I'm 100% dead. Okay, uh, let's just try and- do our best with Senna, I suppose. This guy. Okay, no, we're actually, when our attacks do connect, his defenses aren't too high. We do have a uh, bleed on him, which is probably going away pretty soon. I don't really recall how like useful bleeds are in uh, this franchise, or even if, even if our, oh my God, this is, this is scuffed. What is this? He's just evade, evade, shoots you in the head for a thousand damage. Like, bro, come on. You gotta have some downside. All right, showtime. No, showdown. I'm thinking of Snake too much. <laughs> I just finished watching a giant uh, Metal Gear retrospective. Oh man, I loved those games when I was younger. But now, I don't know. They stopped making them. What the top? This isn't. I need these skills. Hold up. Huh? Oh, thank God. We just had to get him to half HP, dude. And he just kills us in the cutscene. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Guy's got skills. I couldn't give an Arden's ass. He's gonna regret it. Guy needs a lesson. <laughs> Just to be sure, there's no chance we could talk this over. Just give him the yes, thing. Can take that as a no, then. Bro, just give him the thing. Y'all are nuts. <sighs> Wait, what the heck? Uh. Hey, he's running away. I, I just realized he's not Kevis or Agnes from the looks of it. And he's just I'm gone. Okay, then. You lot, identify yourselves. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, compared to, compared to him, y'all are chumps. Like... Kavesi soldiers? Tell me, have you seen the man in the mask? We've been looking for him. Wait, they're with a bunch of Agnians. Must be those Ouroboros we've been hearing about. Traitors to the crown. Huh? Since when did we ever? Oh, you think you can talk your way out of a righteous beating? <laughs> Not today. <sighs> okay. We've been this- we've been through this before. Come on. Today's really not our day, is it? <laughs> I, I relate to that. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Um, just five of them. How bad could it be? Die! Die! Ah, <laughs> oh, free. Well, yeah, that was, uh, understandably a little easier. Tell, tell the rest of the colonies, yeah, we're- What is with everyone? Invincible. <laughs> yeah, it's getting kind of ridiculous by this point. We learned something pretty interesting, though. Yeah, they said they'd been looking for the man we fought against earlier. I wonder what happened. It's kind of surprising also to hear that, yeah, we're not the only vigilantes out there. If Kevez is after him, then maybe he wasn't our enemy after all. And maybe Uni should have gave him the fidget spinner. I'll remind you, he did attack us, mate. 
That's not my. I don't remember it like going like that. But yes, that does make it hard to classify him as an ally. Some kind of deserter, perhaps. Hey, if he jumped in the river, he'll have been carried downstream. We could try and catch him at the bottom. Figure out what's what. He may yet prove hostile, though. If he does, then we whack him. <laughs> and if he doesn't, we listen to what he says. Great plan, or what? Uh, a little simple, but. I. Does that qualify as a plan to you? <laughs> A plan takes forethought and planning. What you did is post hoc rationalize your own. <sighs> what do you think? Oh my god, let's just go to the frickin' bottom of the lake. Let's go and see. Yeah. Better than sitting around here just. Well, actually, the view is pretty nice. But yeah, where the crud is he? Wait, following footsteps? What? Certain quests have like a. You think I can make. You think I can survive that fall? I'm gonna try the fall and see if we survive. Hold up. Oh wait, it doesn't even connect. That's pointless. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> I'm following his footsteps in my own way. <laughs> oh great, the monkey ate him! Crud! You know, when you think about it, it, yeah, if we follow his exact path like that, he would obviously outrun us. I think that's what they're going for. Eh? Uh, okay? Alright, so this is pretty cool. We're also just, like, running alongside the... <laughs> Monkey, it's kind of fun. This is definitely something new for Xenoblade. I don't know if uh, I like it, but this could be used to like lead to specific areas, and you know I can see how for some quests it would actually be kind of cool. My major criticism is though is just this: like I can demolish this crustnip, but like okay, the crustnip was a bad example, but some enemies they just seem to aggro to you no matter what. And yeah, I get it. Like, obviously, it's a rabid animal. Like, it's trying to eat and all that stuff. But, man. Maybe they're trying to avoid uh, what would happen in Xeno 2? Where there would be this giant climactic area. And I'm trying to be as vague as possible because I really don't want to spoil people. That's never been my M.O. But nothing's more, like, I don't want to say embarrassing, but, like, silly than, Oh, wow, I've reached this area. And none of the enemies even will look at me because I just outlevel them so much. Crud. And it kind of like cuts into the dramatic tension there. I get that. At the same time, th there's a balance, right? Wait. Is that him? Is that him? And yes, I see the unique monster. We'll, we'll get to him maybe off screen. I don't know. Buddy. I mean, you weren't never our buddy, but uh, you, you, you move. Like, you got some moves. And I'm not just talking the dodging. Ugh. I got a seashell in my shoe. Crud. Finally. You're not getting away this time. I thought you might trap me down. But I didn't think you'd be so kind as to bring me my prize as well. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Bit heedless of you, don't you think? Uroboros. Wait, you're hunting us and not the fidget spinner? Huh? How does he know about us? Yeah, fishy. What are you all about then? I don't think I need to answer that. There were Kavesi troops looking for you. Come on, throw us a bone here. Look, we want to talk. If you could just open up a bit. Okay. Let's start with names. Ours are. Don't need them. Stick to the point. <laughs> the Kavesi are after you, right? If you tell us what that's about, we... You do what? Huh? It's nothing that concerns you. Right. So, if it did concern us, you'd answer. That's something. Are you our enemy? Still keeping mum? <laughs> In fairness, I have this mask over my face. It's really hard to talk. If you stop prying, we'll have no reason for hostilities. Says the guy who lashed out at us before. Yeah, not buying it. <laughs> oh, for sparks sakes, use your snuffing words! <laughs> I know! I'm with Uni! Just talk, bro! You're human, right? Uni, chill. I, uh, mm, eh, mm, okay. I hate people who want to say what they mean! Oh, this guy's flipping all my switches! I'm with you. Did you or did you not attack us just because you felt like it? Answer! It was just a warning. You neither need nor understand that thing that you have there. Wait, what the heck is it? Don't you stick your necks where they don't belong. 
What, so you're going to attack us again to get your hands on it? I told you clearly. Stop praying, and we won't have to fight. So you need this thing, then? Oh, God, Uni, don't do something bad. Well, I, I'm not admitting to that, but I really would have preferred if you didn't throw it in the water and destroy it. So, does that mean you're... Wait. It seems you were followed. Uh, I, I honestly find that hard to believe, bro. Followed? By who? Like, we went miles. Is this the same Them door? Again. Oh, come on. We brought robots this time. <laughs> I, <found> you. <laughs> I knew you were in cahoots. What? Stop being wrong. <laughs> <laughs> when the teacher grades my paper. <laughs> now look what you've got a thing to. Crud. Sorry about that. This wonder is entirely on you. <laughs> he takes no responsibility. Honestly, he's kind of right. But I'll lend you clean up. Wipe them out. Hang on, Elevenis. This mother does nothing by halves. <laughs> what are you mumbling now, traitors? <laughs> Not that I care, actually. Honestly, everyone's <laughs> mumbling because this effing song is so loud. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. He's just so over the top. I can't help but laugh, but okay. Surprise, surprise. He's the hero. No way. Let's get him, y'all. He's a uh, Sagittarius. All right. A little bit of constellation action. Is that a zodiac symbol as well? I don't know if we know. Wait, it effing is. It's the one with the bow. Now I remember. Now I remember that the Sagittarius. Like, listen, I'm not a horoscope kind of guy. I don't know what vibes you get from these videos, but that's one thing. I cannot fake. I don't give a dump. They sure are persistent. It might be wise not to linger. Agreed. It'd be nice not to get wrapped up in any more scuffles. Tell me, are we gonna let them run away and just get more robots? Like, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be grim, but maybe we should finish the job this time. Uh, so why were those not after you anyway? We're not gonna talk about. That. Okay. Is it because of his sparkling personality? <laughs> what can I say? Everyone loves me. <sighs> Perhaps so. Oh, so now you acknowledge it. <laughs> you can hold on to that. You changed your mind just like that. You're kidding. You mean... Uh, I, I can play with it. I can spin it around when I'm bored. That shard from earlier. So you don't need it after all? I never said that. But I can't be bothered trying to convince you. Right. Because talking to people is just such a chore. <laughs> I'm so happy everyone's just digging into him. Mate, use your words. In time, you will discover his purpose. But if you were to abuse it, I may have to dispose of you. Mm, hold up, maybe he's got a point. Being vague on purpose. It seems you can use your heads, even if just a little. I will choose to trust in my late friend's words. Gee, that makes us feel a lot better. I meant what I said. So now what? What will you do after this? Save your breath, Mio. It's not like he'll answer you anyway. I have something to take care of. Oh, so you'll answer her. <laughs> well, I guess she doesn't like you. Even if it puts soldiers on your trail? Naturally. All right, well, that's the end of that then. Your life, your choices, man. Hey. What now? Don't die, you lot. Huh? If you need me, you can call me. I'll assist. Uh, that's rich coming from a guy that just tried to kill us. It was a warning. And a small test. Homie, the giant lasers that pierced half our party was not a warning shot. What's this crap now? Honestly, I don't get this dude. I don't either. I simply followed my friend's request. And your friend, that'd be who? When you say you'll help us, we can just take you at your word. Either way, I can't have the bearers of that thing running around unsupervised. Doesn't exactly inspire confidence. But hey, he's strong, so that's something. That's an awfully kind offer there, mister, but we don't even know what to call you. About time we got a name, don't you think? <sighs> Give me a second. I think I went on the spot here. Uh. He's not gonna get- Whoa, what? hey, <laughs> stop right there! Your name, Spock, you spill it! Gray. Call me Gray. All right.
right, Gray, you better turn around because that guy's deal. You're on the party, brother. I don't want to stuff if I know. Although he didn't look like a bad uh I guess he kinda did look like a bad guy, huh? There does seem to be more to this story than we've seen so far. Yeah. I feel bad like I jumped the gun, so to speak. Well he sort of mm. just no fighting him again, please. <laughs> yeah, seconded. Punching his kind's not even all that satisfying. Yeah, who are you lying to, Uni? Like, Gray, huh? I feel bad, because on one hand, I don't know if they're being self-aware. Like, yeah, trying to work with a guy who refuses to literally tell you anything. Pretty annoying! But maybe whatever we have is some kind of, like, super weapon or... I don't know, there's, there's a mystery to be had here. Hope this quest continues. A mysterious man gave you his name. He also seems to know Noba. Ultimately offered them his help. He knows where Ouroboros. If you have to call me something, call me Gray. Full, wait, it's Full Metal Jaguar? Yo! And it goes to Uni, of course it does, even though they have no bond at all. Okay, an attacker roll. Shots grow deadlier with each consecutive hit. Time arts to enemy attacks to rank up hits? Homie, what? They're just feeding us classes like no tomorrow. Okay, I love Xeon as a character. You gotta admit, though, offense is always the best, you know, defense in this franchise. Kill him in two hits. That's why I always say, why not one? I mean, we gotta be realistic. Okay, so. Yeah, the ogre class. Uh, you know. Wait, what the dump? Does that mean I'm missing some? Hold up. Okay, so. What the dump? Okay. I mean, let's just be real about it. Let's just be real. That looks fire. Except for the shoes. What? Like, dude, she... <laughs> she's so close. Oh, my God. Call it a goofy quest, but man. The outfit, what... It's just... I don't know. Other than the shoes. Dare I say perfect. All right, where are them unique monsters at? I know I said I'd never do this again. But I'm back on my bullcrap, dude. There's only one opponent worthy enough. To take on the full metal jaguar. And it's that goddamn okra again. Let's summon it. So I have been messing around with this class for a bit, and it's pretty good. <laughs> Even at the level I think I'm at. Obviously, it's been a while since I've updated my gems and like accessories. But legitimately, it plays great. It is kind of weird because it has a back positional and a front positional. You can't really uh, see the animations here, but yeah, it's kind of... I can't think of any other class and anything that's had, like, that type of movement. But, once you see Violent Streak and, like, you know, it's scaling, I think you'll see, you'll agree. Yeah, it's a pretty good combo it's got going on. Only downside is that, yeah, it's, uh, art dead set. It's really lengthy, and I don't necessarily know if accuracy up is even that valuable. So I probably would, like, swap that one, but then again, I am no expert, and, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> the guns do not have as much range as you might think they do, but, uh, wee, wee, look at her spin, she's having a blast, and I am too. I've yet to see the chain attacks, so let's get into that. Ruthless persecution! During chain attacks, boost damage dealt to low HP enemies. Okay, that could be pretty good for farming uh, EXP, actually. Because, you know, if you use a chain attack at the end, right, and his heroic chain, multiplies damage ratio by 1.5 upon completion? What? So he just... That can't be right. He boosts the damage of the entire chain by 50%? No way. That can't be right. And uh, he has an art I haven't actually seen yet, which I think does percent damage? Did I read that right? I don't know. Point being, yeah, he's, he's here. What does he do? You got me. Wait, how many attackers did I bring to this fight? Oh my god, no wonder we're struggling for heals. God. Okay, let's see this thing. It did a heroic chain. I'm not sure what that's about. And Okay, that was his... What What was that? He just gets up. Uh, <laughs> that looked kind of goofy. Am I, am I crazy? Legitimately, he just... Oh, that's, that's all the bullets I had. What do you want from me? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Keep in mind, we started this chain at around 50%. I think, yeah, 
he just straight up boosts your damage output if he's a part of the chain. I mean, that's that's what it says, right? That is absurd. Hold up, that is he the best hero in the game? Did they accidentally give you him this early? I mean, crazier things have happened, right? Is this our fourth? Yeah, we should just do this. Yo, hold up, is the all attacker uh strat kind of decent? Oh yeah, I don't think we've seen this yet. Look at her go. Is she going to spin again? No, she does that. See, that's a- We actually killed it? You're trolling! What the dump? Okay, I know I use chain attacks a lot for my damage, but that's nuts. Holy... Yeah, he's pretty... He's pretty good. You need, you need, this class is pretty decent. God dang. Okay. I, I'm, just, I'm just honestly surprised. For the remainder of the episode, though, I know, I know you want me to do my story, but like... Legit, I actually want to head back to the colony and see if we can't, you know, check on that robot Valdi quest. Not to, like, totally bench him, but, you know, he was our original hero. No, our original hero was Ethel. Just going to but away. legit, how can they get better than that? His personality, honestly, I, 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 you know, whatever. It's not the best, not the worst. They're, they're getting there, but, uh, hey, Valdi's, like, in the overworld. The dump? I'm going to look for parts, too. Don't leave me behind. Even though I've been permanently benched, probably. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just joking! Don't replace me, please! Okay. Anyway, I've been hearing about Offseer's flute. Radek's Offseer successor shouldn't have been assigned yet, though. What's going on, I wonder? Redick. Oh, Colony 30 also has an Offseer. Dang, what's up with his Nopon parade? Okay, well, we'll get to that. Nopon's flute playing is ear-bleedingly bad? There's a Nopon Offseer? Tell me about it. That was an Offseer's flute being played, wasn't it? How's Nopon got something like that? Maybe that's not the case. Maybe they're not normally supposed to. Yeah, I mean, they're not a, you know, a race that's usually Kevis or Agnes. Uh, are, is, is that one of you? I don't know. I think we have to, like, discuss it first. Mech eventually ran to his friend, thanks to assistance. Dinky dinky complete day's worth of work in single hour. God, I wish that were me. While helping hand a mecha friend, output of Dinky Dinky will be much. Meh, actually so efficient, not much left to do for Dinky Dinky. Oh no! Am I being replaced? Possibly. Iran and her team haven't contacted us yet, ever since the their expedition in the desert. Maybe they're st we're still at war. They think we're still at war. I mean, you are oh no, they don't know that we've been li they've been liberated. Dump. Okay. From the sounds of things, we got a lot to do in Colony 30. Holy moly. What's up with you? Have you seen the third unit's Levenesses? They're late coming back, and I don't mind admitting I'm wrong. I'm warning them time and time again, again, not to neglect their maintenance. Ugh. Erun, snuff it. Could you go out and see wh what's that about? Then see what Yuzet has to say about it. Okay, somebody's stuck in a desert? I don't think we've been to a desert biome yet. I'm feeling a lot more confident now that, yeah, we have the Full Metal Jaguar by our side. I'm a firm believer in, like, anchor characters in games. Like, you know, putting all your buffs, all your good stuff on one character. They can carry! It, there's a reason we call it the carry system. And, you know, MOBAs and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. So, yeah, this expedition mission. That's fun to say. Expedition mission! Sounds like contact with a Levinus unit dispatched by Colony 30 was lost in... Denag Desert. That's the unit Ven was worried about, right? Communications are often disrupted in Denag Desert. It could be down to the sandstorms that are prevalent there. Then maybe the people in that unit still think they need to fight. But we destroyed the Colony 30 Flame Clock! Oh my gosh, just check Twitter! Like, sounds like they didn't get the message, love. Someone better tell them they don't need to kill anymore. Looks like we'll have to meet with them face to face. Yep. Off to Denag Desert we go. Crud. Whoa, that looks awesome. Also, I really hope I'm saying Denag right. Oh my god, there's so much to do here. I love this game, dude. It just keeps going and going and going. Okay. On one hand, though, I do think it'd be best to uh, just try the Valdi thing. Is it not appearing? Because I don't have him as our current hero. Maybe that's the case. Yeah, I think that was the problem. Don't quote me on that, though. But just a bit of a refresher. Uh, Valdi's kind of supposed to be running the show. And then there's the second-in-command guy, Yuzet. And as far as I remember, that's all we know. Hi there, dude. 
You and Valdi are pretty close on the sounds of it. Use it. Guess what? Yeah? Can you not see that I'm working, Valdi? Well, I can't see. And thanks for that, by the way. As long as you notice. Anyone else having trouble telling which one is the commander here? Use it. Let's do something. Oh, you want to do something, do you? We need to restore calm to the colony. That takes priority. Has there been any unrest since the flame clock was broken? Would I call it unrest? Uh... Well, that's happening. Uh, <laughs> it's just that now the fighting has stopped. Levness maintenance isn't so vital. Everyone's whine or winging about how they've got nothing to do all day. It's driving me up a wall. We're all looking for something to do, me included. Oh, everyone can pitch in on Dorik. Who? Oh, that thing. Is that the Big Levness? I didn't catch his name before. <laughs> yeah. I said I'd make it the best Levness there ever was. That's the one the console ordered built. Huh. Well, will you help me with it? Mama? Uh, Riku suppose advice not go amiss. Yay! What? Uh, uh, I can't stop working on it. Or, no, I can't stop you working on it, but you can't raid our materials for it. Crud, you know what that means. I understand. I'll keep salvaging stuff myself, then. Hey, you guys got nothing to do? Care to help? Let's build a lavness, everybody! Nothing bad will happen with a giant war machine! What exactly do we gain by finishing this? Uh, nothing at all. <laughs> Music comes out and says, yeah, the reward kind of sucks, I'm gonna be honest. But as long as it keeps the nope unhappy, you'll be doing me a favor. He's not very commander-like, but he does care about the colony. Fair enough. We can help out with scavenging for materials. What do you say, Lance? You can help too, right? Yeah, yeah, go on. I'm the one who told you to find something to do, right? Thanks. Rapapa is the one in charge of Doric's project. He'll be able to help tell you what we need. Alright, cool. So just go gather some crap. Been there, done that. Nice. If I had a guess, this is probably like that Nopon that was starving. And uh, we just gotta give over a certain number of parts. Valdi been great help. Rapapa, thank you. As benefits chief. A uh, chief? I almost misread that as chief den. Different game. Valdi trained as mechanic alongside Repepa on the Master Pawn. Basically, Repepa, look after Valdi a lot. Aw, oh, like a big bro. Right now is Doric and Mecha friend, and also look after Yuzet when have time. Is so good, Chief. Anyway, friends say friends want to find materials? Not very kind. Yeah, what should we do? Hmm, first is get lots of material from Aita and Fornis region. Materials need thorough checks, so bring first to Repepa. Area around Colony 30. Sock full of stinger piles. Okay. Sure. How are we doing on the materials? Yeah, it is just like that. Unfortunately, it looks like you have to... Oh, don't. We got to, like, synthesize stuff and then turn it in? Yeah, that's going to take a minute, bro. Hold up. Instead, I think uh, we'll do that one passively and maybe check out that desert. I know I'm kind of ping-ponging all over the place, but hear me out. If I did that right now, it would not be fun. Okay, after a lot of trial and error, I think I found a path into the desert. Only issue is, uh, yeah, it looks like there's something waiting for us on the way. Oh God, are we prepared for that? I don't know. And I know what you're saying, Johnny, just follow the like quest tracker thing. That uh did not help in this one situation. Oh, what, is this a brand new area? Oh dang. I guess just a sweeping vista shot. Is this like a late game zone? Why am I thinking that? I don't know, I got that vibe. I know we've been to a desert before, but this one is... Ugh, something about it. It's a little more sinister, dare I say. No, there's enemies that are around our level. Are you guys friendly? I mean, I know it says level 26, but uh, you look kind of... You know... You're in the middle of a desert, there's no water, you, you know, we, we could talk this out, like I'm just saying, like, we got water, we got materials, we, 
You can't move your leveness. We got we got Pete. But that's, okay, I figured. All right, I'm 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 gone. I'm gone. I, I get it. Now I know I might be kind of stupid sometimes, but uh, I know a Sarlacc pit when I see one. But at the same time, I need that treasure too. <laughs> I honestly do want a giant worm. To, well, that's kind of a giant worm. And what is our reward for vanquishing those devils? It better be good. Like I'm serious. Like I'm. So, I'm tired of mid, bro. Please. Effing hate this game. Oh, you can barely see it with this sandstorm, but look at that over there behind the giant effing skyfish. Is that the castle, bro? I mean, it could be. It could be honestly anything, but... Are we actually that close? God, I'm, I, I got chills. So far, our uh, little trek into the desert has been exceedingly uneventful, if I'm being honest. Reminds me of the One Piece arc, which, uh, if you watch the anime of that, felt like an eternity. It's like, oh boy, oh boy, are they still in the effing desert? Oh, dump! What is going on? Do we even want to get involved in this? I mean, wait, aren't we supposed to? Yeah, this this is the unit we're trying to help. Okay, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be pretty dumb to call them all this way. Eh. Nobody said we were going to fight robots. Screw that. I um have been messing around with uh, Uni. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like uh, the Full Metal Jaguar class gets the crazy Evade Arts Grey Hat. But, if he did, I, I imagine, like, you know, you'd be perfect offense and then defense because you could just dodge whatever the crud a boss is doing. Assuming the cooldown isn't ridiculous, but oh my god, we're finally strong. Oh no, we're, it's not because of the class, dude, we like super leveled up. How'd that happen? Huh. Commander, what are you? Just came to pick you guys up. Ven was worried about you two. <laughs> Are you serious? We've got a mission to finish. Commander or not, you need to follow the consul's order. No, no, we're not really do- Prepare to move out, team. No, we- No, chill. Like, seriously. Come on. You don't need to fight anymore. Really? Wait, we have like a- We have like options? Hold up. Yeah, y'all, listen to Valdi. He's your commander. Come on. Screw the consul. You're still calling me 30, ain't ya? Listen to Valdi. Come on. Arun. We have to fight for all the mechanics back in the colony. Then you're relieved on duty. Go home. No one the others broke Colony 30's flame clock. You what? You what? <laughs> Can you prove it? Uh... Wait, you mean they never considered to check their iris? Oh no, because it's jammed out here probably. They mentioned that. Well, in that case, uh... You know, what do you gotta lose, right? You just have to trust us. Please. Well, he is kind of hot, so... Hmm... I'm easily swayed. Wait, no, they don't care about that. Right. What about then? He was saying you need to do proper maintenance. Oh, yeah? Well, that does sound like him. Hmm. Prepare to head back. Roger. Oh, well, they were easy to convince. You spared us from who knows how many senseless battles. Thank you. And say hi to Ven for us while you're there. Commander, we're going back to Colony 30. Got it. Take care. And watch out for that Sarlacc pit. It's really not worth the trouble. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> well, how about that? That one was actually pretty cool. Just gives you a pretty decent breadcrumb to come all the way out here to this honestly pretty picaresque desert. Along the way, though, I fought like a couple of well I didn't really fight much but I want I, well, the sandstorm finished I want to see if I can see that castle it's sort of obscured by that giant cloud but yeah man that looks like it it's admittedly oh god I go <laughs> as I was saying it's admittedly been a while but I think yeah that's it in the distance while we're hanging out here though I just want to say thanks a ton for checking out today's episode Full Metal Jaguar, man. It's pretty rad. But, uh, yeah, something tells me. There's still a couple more heroes waiting for us to interact with. I mean, that doesn't just, yeah, it doesn't come out and just say it, right? But, like, what else could these be, you know? So, 
guess next episode we're going to check those out. And in between episodes, I'll, yeah, I'm probably going to work in helping rebuild the giant Levness back in Colony 30. Thanks a ton, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. More Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Bye.